but keep an eye also on Real Madrid. After the game with Barcelona was Xavi, Barca manager, to say this is an elite player, could become a world-class player. Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, we touch on Take Kubo having a fantastic season at Real Sociedad, but also Anthony, some rumors around the Brazilian, and Cole Palmer at Chelsea. Let's jump into it together. <music> Stake Kubo is always in the rumors because he's doing fantastic for Real Sociedad. They are generally doing very great thanks to Imanol, the manager, and all the players, obviously, doing a special season. But Take Kubo is the star of this team, and for sure, Take Kubo is attracting the interest of many players. I can guarantee, or many clubs, sorry, I can guarantee to you that many clubs are traveling to Donostia, to San Sebastian, to see the player this season, and also where they are player. Uh, of course, a way they are always there to keep an eye on Take Kubo from England, from Spain, from different countries. But keep an eye also on Real Madrid. After the game with Barcelona was Xavi, Barca manager, to say this is an elite player, could become a world-class player. So Xavi confirmed his big love for Kubo, but at the moment for Barcelona there are different priorities. For Real Madrid, Kubo could be an opportunity, because Real Madrid, when they sold Kubo to Real Sociedad on permanent transfer, they included a close into the contract for a future sale. 50% of the sale of Take Kubo will go to Real Madrid, but it also means that they can sign the player for half the asking price. Rumors say that there is a release close into his contract for 60 million euros, so it would mean that Real Madrid could be able to, to pay the player just 30 million euros. So the Kubo opportunity is there. That release close is not confirmed 100% because some sources believe that this is a private agreement between Real Sociedad and Kubo and not an official close that will be clarified in the future, but for sure Real Madrid have this 50% future sale, which means that they can sign the player for just 50% the asking price. So a big opportunity, Take Kubo, but there are also other clubs from different countries keeping an eye on him. So it could be a really interesting situation to follow in the summer at the moment, not in the January transfer window. So keep an eye on Kubo. While many Manchester United fans asking me about Anthony, if there is some truth in these rumors of a potential loan deal in January to let the player go. Guys, at the moment, I'm not aware of any negotiation at all between Manchester United or any other club uh, for Anthony in January. At the moment, the situation remains very quiet. Obviously, my United and the player hope to resolve the situation off the pitch as soon as possible because obviously it's going to affect the performances of, of Anthony. This is very human, so we can understand that. At the same time, they want to improve the performances. Anthony can't continue like this. He knows very well. He wants to work hard to improve his performances. And so the message is very clear. At the moment, they are not planning Anthony and my United to part ways in January, and that's the case for Jadon Sancho. Sancho is expected to leave for Anthony at the moment. The situation remains quiet. Meanwhile, guys, uh, it's also important uh, to discuss in terms of opportunities that Chelsea were very happy with the opportunity they got in the final days of the summer transfer window with Cole Palmer. Chelsea are convinced that they got a bargain with Cole Palmer. What he's showing on the pitch, but also in the training sessions, is something that is really really positive for Chelsea. People at the club are super happy with the player approach and also people in the coaching staff see his attitude in training and they are convinced that what they paid to Manchester City for Cole Palmer is obviously an important fee but is way less than the real value of the player for the future, so in terms of potential. They believe that Cole Palmer is going to be special, that he can play in different positions, but the attitude he has and obviously the talent, this is something that at Chelsea, they are convinced is going to be really, really special. So super happy with the signing from Man City. Chelsea had multiple options in that position in the final days of the summer transfer window. They decided to go very strong on Cole Palmer and they're very happy about that. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories, including Take Kubo, Anthony, Cole Palmer. Let me know your thoughts here in the comments. And remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.